Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In this tutorial, I used an SVG file as inspiration to create an applique block and quilt in Electric Quilt. Lately, I've been collecting a lot of designs on the internet that I can think about using with my Cricut. But I realized that some of these designs are really cute and it would be fun to actually design blocks in Electric Quilt using the designs. And so I'm going to share with you one particular design that I used and modified in Electric Quilt. So um, I have already purchased this, so I don't need to purchase it again, but I wanted to at least show you the website and it's creativefabrica.com and if you just uh, type in love you tons you should be able to locate it. So now let's go to electric quilt. On the home screen select design a block from scratch and I will do a new block piece and applique easy plus applique. So we don't need to do anything on the Easy Draw tab, so we'll go ahead and click on the Applique tab. And in the Precision Toolbar, let's set the block width and height to 12. I'm not going to be snapping to grid so the snaps don't matter. And under Snapping Options, make sure you've got turned on Snap to Nodes, Snap Aligned Segments, and Auto Join Segments when drawing. And I also am going to have the Hide Show Autofill on Closed Patches turned on. Then select the Tracing Image and Import Image. Navigate to where you have downloaded the image for tracing. Once you've located the image, select it and select Open. Under Crop Image, select OK. We will start by tracing the heart. So select Drawing Tools. Make sure you're on the Applique tab and then select Shapes and select the heart within Shapes. Drag a heart over the big red heart. Turn off Hide Show Autofill on Closed Patches so we can see the image behind our shape. Zoom in and select the Edit tool and first move the nodes to match the sharp points on the tracing image. Then with the Edit tool, I'm going to double click on the left and on the right, which is going to add an extra node. Drag the node to move it to match the outsides of the heart. Select the bottom node with the Edit tool and then move handles to adjust the curvature of the arc. Then do the same with the Sharp node on the top part of the heart. With the Edit tool, you can also drag the arcs themselves to better match the image. Then select the Pick tool and select the Drawn Heart and select Clone. Then select the Control or Command key on your keyboard and now when you hover over one of the corners you have a resize function. And so we're going to uh, make the heart smaller by moving that lower right corner. Then I can click on the center with the control key and that should engage the handles around the outside of the image. You can drag one of those handles clockwise or counterclockwise for the heart. Then select clone and repeat the process to make a smaller heart. I did decide to make the remaining hearts a little bit larger than the image because I want to be able to actually cut those out in fabric. Continue to clone and rotate for the remaining hearts. Then I am going to trace the elephant. And so under the drawing tools, I'm going to select draw and I'm going to select freehand. Now, I don't worry about accuracy. My goal at this point is just to get a really rough shape around the elephant. And so I will just move my mouse and like when I get to a point like that I can stop and then I'm just going to restart again. If a segment does not connect up, you can connect those later with the edit tool. 
and I do like to turn that hide show on to make sure I've got a complete patch. Then I'm going to turn that back off and now I'm going to do edits here. And I can move nodes, I can double click to add nodes, and I can use the handles to fine tune any adjustment. You may find that you need to change the type of node. When we use freehand, typically the starts and the stops of any lines are corners and the middle nodes are smooth. In a corner node, both handles operate independently. In the, a smooth node, they both work together. As you fine tune your drawing, try working with both corner and smooth nodes to see how they operate. Now if we want to delete a node, I can select it and then just select Delete Node. Now what I like to do is select Hide Show Image for Tracing. Now I will make additional adjustments just to make the shape look good. Then turn the tracing image back on and select the freehand tool again and this time trace the ear. Select the edit tool and clean up the tracing of the ear. And then with the shapes tool I'm going to select the circle. Now it may not let you draw a super small circle so draw a bigger one and then select it with the pick tool Use the controller command key to resize it and drag it smaller. And then I'm going to do a fit to work table and I'm going to go to the color tab and color this. Then select add to project sketchbook. Now let's play with the drawn shapes. I would love to have the shapes better fill the block. So select the draw tab and with the pick tool, go ahead and move some of the objects. It's now time to hide show the image for tracing to not be distracted by that. It will also be necessary to resize. Now if you don't want the sizing to stay proportionate, do not use the control or command key as you drag one of the edges around the block. Continue to play with size and placement until you have a pleasing block. Go to the Color tab and make any adjustments to coloring. And then select Add to Project Sketchbook. Now let's select the Quilt Work Table and do a new quilt horizontal. In the Layout tab, select the number of blocks and change to 1 by 1 and change the size of the block to 12 by 12. Go to the border tab and change the first border to a half inch and then add a second border and change the size to one and a half inches. Now go to the design tab, do a set block and add the block to the quilt and then let's go to the fabric tools and color the borders. Now I'm ready to put text in my heart. And so I'm going to select Layer 2 and then I'm going to select the Text Tools. I decided to use Midi Oha, which is a handwritten typeface that I obtained from Creative Fabrica. And I'm going to change the size to 2.5 inches. I will use the shift key to drag a text box and then I'm going to type in be mine. Then select fabric tools and make any final adjustments to coloration. And then select add to project sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For additional tips and techniques please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.